Hello everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 as the Halas, the Iron King Carlos, who is a, a slaver. And um, I have I have too many female slaves, I don't have enough male slaves, so I need to sell some of them. And I just sold, uh, or I'm about to sell Belagere. She's a skilled fighter, but you know, I can't use her at the moment. She's 21, she's quite promising, but you know what, I just want to get rid of her. So 40 gold, she's yours. I can always get them back. I just need to siege down their castle and that's fine. So yeah, get rid of her, it's fine. Um, Raga, I can sell her as well, because I don't need her. Um, so let's see, time to do business. Most of these guys don't actually want to buy them, but you know, 40 gold, wow, 115, yes, I'll take it. This guy is nuts. Um, so yeah, 115 gold for one slave, I'll take that, certainly. Um, so that's 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 nice. Um, how, how much gonna, yeah, sell her as well. Let's see what uh, they pay for. For her, uh, fifteen. Uh, perhaps someone else. Forty. Fine, I'll take it. Forty gold is nice. Um, those are all just kids. Do we want to sell one of these kids? Um, perhaps a young woman. Sell her. Let's see what they. Time to do business. They don't want to buy her. Who else do we have? They probably don't. Have, they don't all have money. Um, come on, more than 15. I'm not going to sell them for 15. That's just not enough. Alright, I'll take her for, f for 40. Come on. They don't want it. Alright, this is the last thing I will do. I will do the rest of camera, probably. Come on. Alright, I'll give up on this. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let's continue. Uh, my army is still over here, uh, raiding, happily. And no one's going to stop it. No one's gonna stop my army, so that's nice. I guess what I could do is split off my army even. But no, no, that's... No, if I split off my army, they will be able to take me over. Okay, it's fine. I won't do that. So Yandri has accepted someone's peace. Cool. We still have 15,000 men over here, which is annoying. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Oberon's company, Luan's company, Yisrila's host. It sucks. <laughs> I don't want to have them siege my castle. But it seems like that's exactly what they're gonna do. And he's just created the title, cool. And we now have another slave born of Belagere or Mullen. Nice. So many slaves. This is really cool. We're making so much money. Love it. Come on. How much more can we get? Almost done. Alright. Let's take this last seven gold and then we're gone. Off we go. Actually. We might, we might actually want to go and see some more of Yunkai if we can, because why not? There's another 60 gold, and while we're at, while we're over here, we might as well, um, you know, try to get this. Uh, he's gonna arrive in Malk. Okay, we can imprison Raga. Why? Just uh, don't care. I have the plot, um, the auto plot stop thingy. Yeah, automatically stop plots, so they, they will stop doing this shit. Alright, so we'll be raiding uh, another thingy. 800 golds already in our ships. Awesome. Do we have a new king? No, still Jeffen, uh, Stefan. Interesting. I want chaos. Why is... Why do they accept him? This is annoying. Look at the core breeze. He doesn't have a sword. Alright. Come on, attack the Night's Watch. I know you can do it. Do it in your lifetime, please. Still sieging Yunkai. Almost done, looting. Nine more gold, three more gold. And we can go home. Well, let's go home. Though, you know, there's more There's more things to, to, to loot, but... Eh, it's also kind of annoying. Uh, wow, this garrison and these levees are just ginormous. Alright. Well, do I wanna. Do I wanna get this? Uh. He has 4,000. You know what? Well, might as well. I think he can pay for himself, can he? Yeah, that would be important. Pay for himself. That's, that's nice. So siege down his entire fort. And we've built something in Stone Tree. Let's uh, keep adding more stuff. Like. Petrol posts. 
What do we need for Castle Town? Small estates. Alright, Patrol Post it is then, I guess. How many men can we raise? Uh, 18,000 maximum. Cool. No prisoners. And we could go on reaving again, which we probably should. Yeah, we should go reaving just to make our vassals happy again. First, we're gonna siege down this province. Um, oh, this is actually the trade post. Well, oh, we're gonna get something out of this as well. And um, then we're gonna go pay the arbor a visit. And afterwards, we'll just go home, go into reaving, and then we'll see what we, what else we can do. We got three swords. It's just amazing. Three Valyrian steel swords. I like that. And we're only 22. We still have so much more, um, so much more time. If we don't, you know, if we don't get killed, and I don't think anyone can kill us, really. And look at this. Now she's she's uh, doing well. We should probably lash her. Yeah, she needs to be lashed. She she wanted to cut off our uh, thingy. Hey, why is she, uh, I said lash you. Lash. She's humble. What, are things even changing? She's now maimed. Damn it. <sighs> Alright, set her aside. I sell this slave now. Uh, 15. No, no, no. She's worth way more than 15. She's attractive. Come on. I don't know. She... I just don't trust anymore. Uh, 15. Alright, fine. Whatever. Take her away from me. I don't I don't want her anymore. She's maimed. She's probably gonna die anyways. <laughs> uh, who's this? I don't care. Some bastard. And this guy declared war on White Tree. Come on, it's the white it's the wall you need to attack. The wall, not White Tree. How many men does this guy have? Mm, only four thousand. How much does the wall or how many does the wall have? Seven thousand. Wow. That's a lot. But that's probably because this guy is just living for a hundred years. Once he dies, they're gonna have significantly less. And that's when they have to strike. Alright, come on. Siege down this castle. We're still sieging the trade post. We haven't actually sieged this guy yet. It's um, annoying. Oh, he's outlived a couple of his kids. Oh well. Almost done building stuff in Pike. We're making more money in 10 towers than we're making in Pike. Even though we have our castle and oversee the province over there. Interesting. But that's gonna change because Pike is a fortress and you know improving holding is just taking ages so I'd rather have the fortress province uh, where I have to build some more upgrades but you know it's still it's gonna be better in the long run um, than, than uh, 10 towns. You know? Even though it's a 6 holding castle still. Could also build one more castle in Pike but no I don't want to. Seven castles in Hollow Hill. It's just amazing. Come on. What's this? I watched my half brother uh, play with another child yesterday. Um, make him greedy. Um, no, don't make him greedy. Don't want to have greedy relatives because they all want my stuff. I have quite some stuff that I could give out. I would potentially have to give out, and I don't want to. I guess I could always say no, but that's gonna make me a tyrant, and that sucks. Still a tyrant, yeah, still considered a tyrant. But that should go away at some point, perhaps. And Donald of the North has died, so now we have Harwin, 13-year-old boy, ruling from Winterfell. And who's also Lord of the Rells, but not High Lord of Winterfell. Who is High Lord of Winterfell? Um, this guy, House Ansut, ruling over Tauron Square. Interesting. But not too interesting. Come on, die, Stefan. Your son is 12, Stannis. 
Is he any good? Yeah, he's actually not that bad. Damn it. All the tournament. Come on. Siege it down. Please. I want to go home. Yandri is still Prince of Dawn. He's now 17, but not yet married. Alright, we got 140 gold for that. And we might be able to get... What the frick? A ugly, club-footed, hunchback dwarven woman. Okay. Yeah. What? Wait, that's not her. No, who is it? Her. That is terrible. Or, we got this one. Or this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick... <laughs> I'm gonna pick that. Should I pick this salt wife? It would be kind of hilarious, actually. But no, please. I want that one. She looks much better. She wants to marry a ruler. I mean, she just got what she wanted. Alright, um... Good. Let's go home. We can't imprison the family. For some reason. But alright. And we're almost capped out. Yeah. Let's go to the arbor. That should be enough money for us. And then we'll go home. Almost done building Pike and Father's Hill. Nice. Father's Hill is such a crappy province. By the way, how's it how's it going over here? Yeah, she's all Damn it. She's looting our stuff. I hate it. <laughs> she's looting rather slowly, but still. Yeah, we've built some of the ten towers. Um built militia training ground again. And we desperately need the money. We're almost running out of money actually. Our captain of the fleet has died? Yeah. Kemet. He's a, he's a lunatic. I think we, we we rescued him from the dungeons. Okay. Don't want him to be commander. I want him to train the troops in Pike. I think we just lost tons of troops. Yeah, like a thousand men. That's unfortunate. Or well, maybe two thousand even Pike. It's possible. Although I could actually make him train my children as well, like Ben, ex uh, especially. Now we'll do that once we can. Um, government is modest and humble, never showing off. Yes, humble is good because that means probably that he won't uh, request any stuff. I mean, I can always give out uh, Father's Hill, and yeah, I won't actually build up this castle anymore because it's kind of useless. Don't want to have that anymore. I only took it because I thought I could potentially convert. We still don't have this stupid ass claim on uh, on freaking uh, Sea God. It's annoying. Probably should send it again. Give me Sea God. Um, this guy is still Lord of Stormlands in the Reach. Amazing. Leighton Meadows. Castle Town has been built in Pike. Cool. Um, either garrison size or tax income. All right, garrison size. Uh, tax income. <laughs> I say the one and pick the other. Um, it's time for me to choose nothing because I don't care about my slaves. And another slave has been born. Great. All right, slaves. So many slaves. Um, right. She's 14. We should probably sell her. Um, see what uh, these guys want for her. Oh, I can't even go fast forward while we do this. Alright, I won't be doing this again. Sorry. Hello? Ah, uh, come on, click it. 15 gold? Ridiculous. 75. There we go. See? I knew I could get more for that girl. How much more can we get actually from the arbor? Uh, I can get another 50. That will not fill us up entirely. So we'll ha probably have to pay Old Town to visit. 200 gold in Old Town. This is amazing. Yeah, we're definitely going to get that. This is just crazy. Old Town gives you so much money. I love it. Alright, we're done. Let's go to Old Town and then we'll go home. 
We desperately need the money from these reavings here. Why is there 11,000? Fuck off. She died. Alright. Come on. Don't be, don't be a bitch, dude. What are you doing? Why do we have 11,000 men raised over there? He has raised him. This guy. How, is he, how does the AI know where I want to raid stuff? That's ridiculous. That actually sucks. Damn it. They're still at war. And he's winning by 20%. Ugh. This fucking annoys me, actually. Uh, what's this? Uh, plot to rescue from my captivity decline. Why would I? Why would I join a plot that makes me lose my my slave? I don't know. Okay, let's go to High God. If I mean, if there's no other choice. 50 gold, what we're gonna get in Tygon, but that's better than nothing. Maybe this will lure him out of Old Town. Not sure, but perhaps. And we'll get some gold for it. Someone was born to Prince Dick. And uh, Joron, oh, but he died. Oh my god, he was quick. She actually, get, I think, yeah, she was quick. That was why I married them. But he died, unfortunately. Oh well. He is raising his men and they're walking around. Good. Once he's in Middlebury, we'll uh we'll go onto the ship. And Castle has finished construction Hala Hill. Awesome. Kinskythe. Um yeah, not gonna do much about it. We're just gonna leave this castle alone. Actually no no no, that's not true. We're gonna build some money buildings. Castle Town, for example. Yep. Uh, our men should get on the boat. Yep. And uh, let's go to Old Town now. And Ben will be educated. He will be groomed for command, which costs 200 gold. Jesus. Hopefully, he'll stay there. I don't want to deal with him, actually. And perhaps I'm be able. I will be able to uh, call for a invasion. That'd be amazing. Come on, 217 gold, please. Let me have it. I want it. We need to be careful. These guys might catch us, actually. Because there's the Rose Road, which gives them extra movement speed. Alright, Stone Tree. We'll be building something in Stone Tree. Um, private farms, right? That's what you need. Small states, yep. So, yeah. Oh, there they are. I knew it. Uh, 22nd, 18th of March. Come on. I barely looted anything. Oh, well. Now we're gonna have to go to Old Oak. Hopefully he moved his men. I hate that he has his men raised. Is he fighting anyone? Oh, yeah, he is. Wait, who are they fighting? No, he's not fighting anyone. He's just raised them to piss me off, really. That's annoying. Some Kudia, I don't care about. He's weak. Can I sell him? I don't know. The first one who wants to pay for him. Yep. Oh, there you go. 15 gold for a weakling. Let's check out this again. Um, cool. Any woman that's uh, past childbearing age? She probably is. So, Sella. Uh, yep. 75 gold. I like it. Awesome. Cool. She needs to breed, actually. I cannot make them breed because I don't have enough men. That's annoying. I need more male slaves. Not have enough females. Come on. I just want to have full gold fleet and uh, the reach man has died so it's now this guy Lord Paramount Helen as Lord Paramount of the reach and the Stormlands. come on rise up oh shit look at these guys uh, Iron Throne although 8 of May all right we'll be uh, able to get out that's fine 
Still don't have all of our money. Let's go to Old Town again. Right, please, just... You know what? You know what? Yeah. Um, I'll do this, and uh, I'll come back next time, because that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Steve Toronka, signing off.